Well, hello there, Ray Waldo, uh, the Bishop of Technology. Uh, check out our website at raywaldo.com. And uh, today we're going to be doing some modification to this Nook tablet. Now, this is the 8 gigabyte version, and the things that I will be doing will either be for the 8 gigabyte or for both. In most cases, everything that I will show you will work on either the 8 gigabyte or the 16 gigabyte. Be sure that this is Nook tablet, not Nook color. Now, today, what we're going to do is we're going to install the uh, CM9 alpha version of the uh, ice cream sandwich to this Nook tablet 8 gigabyte version. To do this, we will need uh, a couple of things, and you'll be able to find the links for these images on my website, raywaldo.com. First off, we'll need uh, a clockwork mod uh, image, and since the, uh, the Nook tablet will boot onto an SD card, we can use a little miniature SD card boot up on this device, and it will have, in this case, the clockwork mod uh, recovery image, so we can use this to boot, uh, to flash another ROM onto the device. Now this device is totally stock. Now, there's no, uh, nothing unstock about it. All I've done is just, uh, once I recovered it, it was bricked. Uh, once I recovered it, then uh, all I did was, was flash the stock ROM on it and registered it. That's all. It's a good idea to register before you uh, make any modifications. And uh, one of the things we'll be doing with this Clockwork mod is making a recovery. Okay, so let's get started. First thing we do is turn the, the device off. Turn it off, just hold the power button until you get the little uh, power off uh, dialog. Turn it off. Once it's totally off, then we're gonna open up the back and we're going to put the Clockwork mod. Now this is, this is a very small little file. As a matter of fact, this uh, SD card is a 256 megabyte, not gigabyte, megabyte, and I've had it for years. And um, it's a very small card, but you only need 50 megabytes for the Clockwork Mod. So we're going to put it into the Nook tablet. Okay, make sure it's seated good. And then when you turn it on, it should boot to the Clockwork Mod. And there we go. Okay, once you see that little box, that's the, uh, the emblem that you're going into recovery. And uh, so it takes just a moment. We're just about there. Okay, and then we get a little blue menu here. And uh, you can see the menu, what you have. Now, at this point, we can take the, this not normally recommended is to remove an SD card once it's in use. But in this case, it's already copied everything over. So we're gonna take that SD card out and we're gonna put another SD card that uh, is just a standard SD card, it's not bootable or anything, but it's just a standard card on which I have uh, copied the uh, CM9 ROM, the zip file for it. And we put it in and lock it down. Sometimes you may have to do this twice. You may have to open it up and then close it again, put the chip in again. Okay, and so now we have the, the uh, device in here. So we want to do two things, or a few things. We want first to move down to uh, white data and factory reset. Now you might not be able to see that, but that's what it says, white data, factory reset. Push the home button, and then it gives us an option, yes or we want to delete all files and we select that. Okay, so it says it's wiping the data. Okay. Okay, and it's done. That's the end of that. Okay, so now we're going to, now it would take longer if you have more data. Okay, now we're going to wipe the cache partition, C A C H E, and it gives us an option to make sure, yes, we want to do that. Okay, and it says or it's already through. Then we're going to go to advanced and I'm using the volume buttons. You can use volume up and volume down to move around on the menu. And we go to advanced. And advanced, we want to select wipe Dalvik cache, the second item. Okay, select that. So it gives us an option to make sure. Let me tell you, yes. Okay, and then we want to go back. Now to go back, you press the power button. Okay, so we go back to the main menu. And now we want to install a zip from the SD card, about midway down there, install zip from SD card. Then we want to choose the zip from the SD card. 
Okay, and this is the list of all the stuff that's available on this device. And uh, so, uh, maybe it's in downloads. I, have, I thought I had it just laying out. Nope, don't have it. Okay, well, yeah, I got the wrong card evidently. Power button to go back. Oops. Nope, just GFs. Uh, oh, here we go. Under the NT down here at the bottom. Okay. This is just storage. Uh, so, uh, in your case, you might have it right on the root. Where, just find it wherever you find it. Okay, and then I've got several different things here stored. And the one we want is the CM9. And there it is. Now, this particular a zip file is full of bugs. That's what they call it, and uh, there will be an update. But uh, you can you can load any ROM that the author or the developer says is good for the the gigabyte version of of the device. Okay, so now we just select that, and it tells us we got the last chance to check. Okay, and we're going to do that, and we tell it yes, and then so it's started its uh, update there, and it's going to install. CM9, which is uh, uh, the Cyanogen Mod 9, which is Ice Cream Sandwich, or ICS, the newest version of, of uh, Android. Now, while it's working, let me tell you that uh, this will also install a copy of the Clockwork Mod onto the device. So, in the future, we won't need this smaller chip. And... Uh, in order to update anything. Okay, so there we're through. It's our, it just didn't take very long at all. Now, we also want to apply the, uh, we want to choose another zip, and we want to go over here to the download and get the uh, GFs for ICS. Okay, so we install those same way, just like a ROM. Okay, and we're through. Now we go back with the power button, and uh, the reboot system now is showing. I'm going to select that. Well, before I do, I'm going to take the chip out. Okay. And uh, so now we're just going to uh, reboot the system, and now any time that you wipe the uh, wipe the uh, and see we can see it's now booting under Sienna boot, which is a universal bootloader for uh, a lot of things, and it's booting up under that now instead of the standard. And there we see the uh, Sienna uh, mod logo. Now it takes a while. Any time that you do a Reset to factory. You don't even have to install a new ROM. If you do a reset to factory, it takes generally two to three minutes, maybe even longer. Sometimes, uh, some devices, it takes up to five minutes to lo load the initial load of the ROM and get it set up, get it set up to run the Android setup for you. But you are there now. This is there's nothing external. Both of my chips are here on the the uh, the ground. And so it's running on its own. This is all in the internal memory of the device now. And when it comes up, when it gets through with all of its, its uh, whatever it's doing inside there, uh, when it gets through, it will be ready to run the Android setup for you, and you will have Ice Cream Sandwich on the device. Now, I'm going to uh, leave it on. There we go. That's how long it takes. And then you just go through and set up your, uh, your device, and that's all you need to do. Once you set it up, then it will uh, it'll be running Ice Cream Sandwich. I'll have uh, another video showing you a little bit about Ice Cream Sandwich after this. Okay, good day.